the Cleveland Guardians and the Tampa Bay Rays. Mindy, uh, uh, Aaron Savali here in this one. You know, uh, Savali uh, pitched, of course, for the uh, Guardian Indians and Guardians uh, from uh, for the last five years until uh, a couple of weeks ago, I think it was, that he was traded to the uh, Rays. So he faces his old team today. That certainly uh, is a storyline. Yeah, that's right. And I, I think it's one of those that uh, I kind of feel like that the Rays have kind of struggled a little bit here offensively, but I know if I take a look at those numbers, they have, um, uh, to me, it's been a little deceiving, right? They've put up 18 runs in their last three games. Uh, but for me, I felt like they just haven't really been playing all that well here uh, offensively. I know they hit the ball, um, you know, well versus uh, right-handers also. Uh, so this one's been a tough one for me to kind of go ahead and handicap today. I think it's kind of maybe more like the Guardians have kind of lost last four out of their five road games. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and give the edge here to the Rays today, um, mostly because, uh, man, I just feel like the Guardians struggle offensively. Uh, they still only put up four runs a game. I feel like the uh, that the Rays can go ahead and get that done here. So I'm going to take the Rays. I'll take them on the run line. Uh, Laying them one and a half. Here we go, back on the run line. Uh, sure. Yeah, you know I'm going to run <laughs> from the <laughs> run. Run fast. Run from the run line here today. Uh, Rays aren't playing well enough for me to cover any run lines at this point. Just winning the games are kind of str of a struggle. We saw uh, yesterday <laughs> their struggles. I did have uh, – I will say this, Mindy, as we you know talk about your great day, uh, you, uh, but uh, I did I had the under as a premium, and you did like the over in that. Yeah, game. I just needed yeah. a home run there at the end, Ramon. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, uh, they had to. If they had a guy on. Uh, would have put me at nine. I at least would have pushed it. <laughs> yeah, and well, in, in all fair, we had the Rays yesterday. Not a uh, we had a loser with our steam team, despite our winning day yesterday. That was one of our uh, losers in the. A chat, and, and you'll know, give credit. There were some in the chat that were kind of taking us off that, uh, even though it was mostly Rays. Uh, so in this one, uh, I'll just have to stick to what works for me when it comes to Cleveland Guardians games, and that's to go under. We'll say that that huge trend of Guardians under is is pretty shaded heavily with the home games, but. I think here at eight and a half, I would only look to the under with Savali making a start against his old team. Uh, you know, obviously Savali is one of the best, one of the best pitchers in the league, and he's going to be going up against. Uh, that's motivation enough, and the Guardians are not hitting at all. You mentioned it as to why maybe the Rays will win this game, but uh, Curry's been good for this rookie, two point five seven ERA. Uh, in four starts, so uh, why not? I'm going to take the under here. Guardians, man, what a struggle it's been losing nine of their last 12 games. They've gone right. under in 10 of their last 12 games, and the Rays have gone under in eight of their last 12 at home, or eight of their last 13 at home, I guess, uh, now. So let's take a look at the chat with their plays in this game. I'm seeing a bump and run here. First to act, and he goes under. And uh, Ron likes the money line. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, it's tough to lay a big price, but uh, hey, we want to bet. And I, I still would give the A's, uh, the Rays, the edge. And I'd probably be with Mindy if we could get just a little bit better price, maybe. Under for Omar. Ziggy's on the under as well. And uh, wow, big baller! Do they have? They play well against them, huh? What Tom Leach say here? Take the under and turn the game off. It's gonna be that thrilling, huh? <laughs> Ironic. He just says that. He just says the unders are stressful for him. So he doesn't even watch. <laughs> All right. Uh, got some specific plays here from Dre. And. Nobody, and Solo says it every time, tries to keep us on track. Nobody's worth right. 200. So, and I think we maybe we saw that with that Dodger, right? Because how tight that Dodger game was. And just gotta, I mean, still won. Uh, I guess he's worth it. I saw one square book. But yeah, I saw one square book. I think I saw 425. Maybe that was when the game started. I don't know when it was. 
<laughs> All right. Let's take the Mindy's on the Rays here, minus one and a half. I'll take the under today, of course. I'm probably going to be on the under. I mean, it's a pretty solid trend right now. So Savali, 1.94 ERA in his last seven starts. Of course, that goes back to his old team. He just had that one start. Yeah, CTG go over in this one. All right. Let's take a look now with, oh, I want to make sure on this one. I think uh, with the Yankees, might have some information on that pitching because I don't think it's official yet with Vasquez here. Uh, but I, you know, most of the books have a line up there with Luzardo as a favorite, about a dollar fifty right now, and the total, uh, pretty much eight and a half under. I'm seeing a few eights out there right now, so a little bit tough here on Mindy, but if you can, uh, Yankees and Marlins. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm going to go under in this one as well. Again, Luzardo has been pretty dominant here at home. Uh, but yet again, struggles with getting run support. Same thing with the Yankees. Uh, they're not hitting well, especially on the road, only 240 batting average. Uh, so I kind of, you know, maybe want to give the edge to Lazardo, but I kind of feel like he's not getting run support. So just go ahead and take the under today. Okay, Mindy says go under in this one. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm on board. I think this is going to be very close to the law. Or it is. I mean, the... Uh, some several books have the line available. Some do not. Let me know in the chat what you're seeing right now, please. Because I, I don't. I just use the line service. They do show the line up at some books, but uh, I also keep some books open over here that don't have it yet. And I'm, I'm, well, I'm probably willing to go under, especially if I'm listing there the eight that eight and. I'll just leave that up there as a conservative line because okay. uh, the books seem to have it right now generally at a consensus at eight and a half under minus 115. I am showing one square book offshore at eight over 15. So I think that's kind of indicating it on the low side. I'll just leave it there at eight. And I guess it, there's a possibility that this line could actually come a little lighter than one. 50 here uh, in this game. And so uh, we'll see. Let's see what the chat's picking, though. Yanks for Luis. A lot of Yankees. Sure. Wow. And again, uh, I'm, I'm not even sure. I was just typing in trying to figure out if, if uh, Randy Vasquez – but three starts, 1.170 RA. That you know he's been pretty good. Not striking out a lot of guys for sure. But again, he's going up against Luzardo, everybody's favorite. I know we all love Luzardo. Let's see if we got more. <laughs> Nathan, you got to bet these the women's games. Uh, I got to bed plenty early today, Mindy, because the game was over by 2 a.m. <laughs> There you go. Well, I guess 245 or so. But Bionic on the Yankees, JD on the under, Ziggy's on the Yankees. Omar has got a, a, a first five here. Um, under. Dra okay, JD. Thank you, JD. Says DraftKings has the eight and a half up there. Obviously, you're probably going to be playing this one with uh, action if you're playing with the Yankees. They could, I imagine that there's probably some contingency here that there could be an opener in this game or Vasquez, you know, he's not running deep, right? Uh, Yankees are plus 125. So that would indicate what we're seeing on screen here, 145, 150. Latifah helping us out as well. Bump and run going under. Uh, Ray says the trends suggest the Marlins. Okay, I'll look at a few trends here. I don't want to delay things necessarily. Marlins have lost eight of their last 12, but we know the Yankees have uh, lost nine of their last 15. The trends are <laughs> – what are the trends saying? Uh, Luzardo, uh, 15 and eight are the Marlins in his starts. I think mean, that's obviously significant. We know that, right? All right, under for Burley. Thanks, you guys, for helping out on that game. We really uh, – I don't know. <laughs> I'm, well, Mindy, you did a great job too, of course. Oh, well, but, thank you. And I'm thank supposed you. to, you know, 
I'll just guide us. All right, you guys. Good picks there. And Minnie, don't take the under. Uh, it, you know, I, I guess it's mostly eight and a half. And I'm sure that's what we'll find back uh, in, a, in the system right now. Eight and a half. I, I do. I like it pretty good at eight and a half. All right, Reds. All right. Awesome Abbott on the road here. Road favorite? No. The Pirates are now the favorite. I'm pretty sure if you guys agree in this game, maybe just a slight favorite. Maybe there's still some pick out there, but uh, it seems like the, the Pirates have shifted to the favorite here this morning. A dollar fifth, They're the dollar fifteen favorite at the square books right now, and the total is 9 over 15. Yeah, I kind of feel like uh, what happened to my guy, Andrew Abbott. He's been struggling here the last couple starts. Uh, so that makes it a little bit uh, worrisome here for me, but still has uh, a pretty low ERA, 2.93. Uh, Oviedo, he's sitting at right at four. Uh, so again, I think this one's a little bit tough to handicap with all things kind of being equal here. Uh, nothing really sticks out for me. So again, I feel like I got two pretty good starting pitchers. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the under here again in this one, Ramon. All right, Mindy, with the under here at nine runs. Oh, these teams do produce some. Oh, your Reds go over. You talk about the trends. Reds are kind of an over team a little bit on the road, and the Pirates are kind of an over team a little bit uh, at home. But I think I'm willing to come in on the under here with our guy. Uh, probably hitting the wall a little bit, you know. Uh, but still, ERA under three uh, for Abbott. Uh, they're nine and three in his starts, seven and two to the under in his nine starts. But how about Johan Oviedo? He's the one that maybe is overlooked here. You mentioned the numbers, but uh, 0 0.9 ERA in his last three starts, all wins for the <laughs> struggling Pirates. I mean, that's big, right? right. And I don't uh, know if they're struggling after, you know, the last couple of days. No, no, the fair enough. They, right. they've, hey, they've won nine of their last 16, so a uh, little bit of a tr winning trend here for them. And, of course, the Reds have unfortunately fallen apart. Uh, I think this one does kind of reek of a pitcher's duel to me. Shaded to the over. I want to take the under here as well. Reds have uh, – I mentioned the Pirates. Yeah, they've gone over in 16 of their last 23, but Oviedo pitching uh, very, very well. The Reds have gone under – in seven straight games. Let's take a look at the chat. Let's do it. A lot of and, pirates. Oh, really? A lot of pirates, huh? Oh, my big guy saying Reds Pirates going way over. Ooh. Who's the big guy? Like muscle guy? Like big? That kind of big? Uh, here's the Reds for Luis. The first five under for CTG. Omar likes the Reds. Nathan, a little parlay action there, it looks like. Takia says the Pirates are the underdog. Let me go across the board here and take a look at these plays because I was just looking at uh, one particular book all together, and I'm that may indeed be the case at some books still. Uh, I think my statement here is that the move is to the Pirates at this point. Okay. Uh, if the Reds are still the favorite, now I'm showing uh, at – uh, Circa Sports. I'm showing uh, the Bucks a dollar ten. I'm showing uh, Bet Online Bucks a dollar ten. Uh, Bovada a dollar fifteen. DraftKings a dollar fifteen. South Point a dollar nine. Uh, Stations has it as a, as a pick because I cover some of the more of the books here in Vegas. So uh, I think you're just seeing the shift. I think you're right on to Kia. The um, Pirates may indeed. And hey. If you like them and you see them as the dog right now, I feel like will be the time. To me, the line is moving in the direction of the Pirates. I will wait because I might like the Reds. Fernando's on the Pirates. Bionic on the Pirates. Uh, they're struggling, no doubt about it. Dre, Cincinnati. I'm talking about the Reds, not the Pirates or their picks. Okay. A Dre, Cincinnati team total under. Tom Leach. Bump and run, Rayo Tachi as well. And Ziggy on the under. Panger here. Panger, we love Panger life. And uh, right. <laughs> with all, um, what a 
shout out to Tony here. I know he doesn't see it quite what as right, but I want to just know we, we love you, Panger. And uh, I think Tony calls him a Ranger Light or something like this. Panger, what did you say on the on the drive through? A Danger Light? Some I don't even know. All right. Uh, Here's a, a lot of unders for Ver Latifa on the under here. Today, feel I, I, I might be on the Reds here. I'm not sure. Ugly game. Don't know if I want to do it. Big Bala. Chosen one. T Max is ready for the Reds today. But nice to have you. I don't think we've had chosen one. T Max. <laughs> okay. Uh, that might do it for this game. Great. Thank you, guys. Oh, I, yeah. there, oh, I there see. is the consensus on this one. Oh, okay. Well, Omar, yeah, is that the case? All right, we're on it then. We Oh, it is. Uh, you're saying it is our consensus, sure. Yes, because Omar said, hey, so is this under a consensus? So, yes, it's between me and Ramon. Okay. It's we're the on the board game. with our Not first Not everyone game. in the chat believes it, but... That's what we're going to go with here today. Hoping that Abed is uh, more true to his initial form than where he's been over the last couple of games. Yeah. I think if you look at the team over under stats, you're probably, well, like I said, Reds have been going under solidly, but Pirates have been going over of late. And yep. before Yesterday. this little streak, the Reds were going over on the road. Um, but here I do like this. I like this pitching today. All right, Philly uh, Twins here. Dallas Keuchel gets another start. I believe Christopher Sanchez. Uh, this is another one where I think the books haven't been listing the game just yet at some of the books. So Yeah, this is what I didn't your, do anything on, I think. I think I put it in the, again. in the back here. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm showing uh, I'm showing the line is going to be pretty solid right here, it looks like. I'm showing books starting to put it up. Some already have it. Uh, Dollar sixty-five or a dollar seventy or so. The total is going to be about uh, nine and a half. And yeah, I'm uh, going to be expecting here, Mindy, uh, Christopher Sanchez. Uh, to, I believe will be the uh, starter in this one uh, for the uh, Phillies here uh, against Dallas Keuchel. Yeah, so Mr. Sanchez has uh, zero wins here this season, but he has pitched really, really well. Uh, again, it's kind of hit and miss. Uh, if he's going to go ahead and get run support. But he's been decent, 3.44 ERA here, uh, you know, and also has a pretty big, uh, uh, you know, strikeout rate. He's uh, 9.2 Ks per nine innings, so not too shabby there. Uh, plus, I feel like, you know, Keiko, maybe he got lucky that first outing versus oh. maybe. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, well, he had lots of base runners on, right? Uh, but other than that, 1.8 ERA. So maybe he's like back into form here as well. I think I'm going to still go ahead and take the under. Uh, been on the under here a lot so far. Might be a trend today, but I'm going to go under again. Uh, you know, Phillies didn't really impress me too much at the bats last night. They had to really struggle to produce runs. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the under. Okay, I'll just leave you to take the under, I, you know. I'll, I'll just uh, chalk it up to incomplete information. Your information is always very complete and uh, updating us right. on Sanchez as well. Uh, but uh, I want to see a little bit of line movement. I want to see a little bit of what happens here before I get involved in the total. I will just say this. Mindy says, uh, look, uh, she's given out some totals here leading to totals. And I will say this. Uh, anybody who's tracking Mindy's current hot streak over the last month plus – uh, Mindy, and I, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, it's, I'm heavy on, wrong. It, it's heavy on baseball totals. Yeah, it's heavy on and, and WNBA totals too. Yeah. There's more baseball games, and uh, your current run right. of uh, hitting, you know, close or uh, close to 67 percent over the last five plus weeks uh, is heavy on baseball totals. So Mindy giving out the under here. If I can promote a little bit again, Mindy. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm fortunate. I had nine straight days of winners with Major League Baseball totals. Uh, gonna go ahead and uh, stick with that. I broke even yesterday. Was two and two on baseball, uh, but got the two totals there in the WNBA. So I'm ex I'm excited for uh, an another day of totals here today, Ramon. Okay, I'll roll. I'll, maybe I'll roll with you on that, or I'll see what happens. But uh, certainly, hey, so Sanchez we got two already, right? Yeah. Sanchez uh, under in seven of his 10 starts for Sanchez. I'll take the Phillies here in this one at a dollar six. I'm just going to play the money line again. Uh, 
not getting too crazy here at this point. Maybe the chat guy, I see him piling up uh, picks here. So let's see, because uh, again, just not even on the board at a lot of places yet. The line just getting started. I think Latifa, did we need to ask? <laughs> I don't think I saw her um, uh, actually make a play on it, did I? Oh, okay. She's just saying. What you got? What you got? Oh, oh wait, okay. up top it says Phillies, of course. Okay. I was just looking no, farther know. down where she was like, "Hey," to all the folks in the chat. Okay. Well, I didn't know if it was, uh, you know, because she could just be saying, "My Philly, you know, go my Phillies." Like, <laughs> I'm still rooting for the Padres, even though I bag on them every. Yeah, day. I mean, I still root for the Royals, whatever. I almost have that masochistic approach when I was a <laughs> kid rooting for the Padres and they would I love the it. pain of the Padres. Yeah, and they would lose like 108 games a year and I'd be like, I hope they lose every game. <laughs> Oops. Oh, man. Really all day. Uh, and there's a drive by Castellanos. <laughs> I'm going to think about that all the time now. <laughs> Ramon is just here for the pain. That's it with the Padres. Oh, yeah. Funny. Well, this year, especially, I mean, yeah. I don't when you say, expect you know, them to be so good, I know that you from the start were kind of, you know, fade out on them. I don't like them. You know, I, I don't look, it's exciting to get a bunch of free agents to take your chances, but I mean, uh, all right, you guys, great picks. <laughs> this is the way it's going nowadays. I don't even have time to read these, but I hope you guys can form your own consensus. I believe this is the most important part of the show is your picks. Uh, the, like I said, it didn't start that way. I had a conversation with some uh, with uh, with uh, Ron Crawford last night. I talked about that. I told him about what I feel about uh, the chat. Oh, yeah. They're the big stars of the show. So shout out if you're out there, Ron. Thank you for Ron the Crawford. words Give last night. All right. Here we go. Next, Mindy uh, is on the under. I'm on the Phillies there. Okay, athletics. Oh, Mindy. Well, Blackburn uh, day maybe, today. Maybe Mindy can give us the update on this because, okay. Um, I was going to say, Mindy, and there it is a pick them, but I actually show maybe the Nationals have moved because there were a few overnight lines that indicated this might have been the second time this season. We'll see when the game goes off. That's when the official – you know, are we favored or are we underdogs happens. But I was wondering if this might be the second time this season the A's were going to be a road favorite. Um, of course, we remember the other time was they beat Kansas – or they lost to Kansas City as a road <laughs> favorite back about uh, – oh, man, it must be about three or four months ago. Yeah. Anyways, here you got uh, – they the, the saying is that Blackburn is the only guy you can back. Uh, for the uh, A's, but here are the Nationals. I'm showing them a dollar fifteen at the square books right now. Maybe it's a pick 'em, but uh, the total here is nine over fifteen. I agree with that, Ramon. We talked about it a lot. When Blackburn's on the mound, this is the time that I'm going to go ahead and back the A's. Uh, so maybe after this show, it will be a, a you know a, a big A's favorite uh, going into this game here mm -hmm. before it starts. Uh, so, yeah, I like the A's here today. They do score uh, 3.84 runs of offense. The Nationals, 4.02. Um, it's going to be a barn burner, you guys. Uh, but, yeah, this Nationals bullpen, uh, not playing so hot here as of late. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the A's. All right. Mindy says roll with the A's today. Can we do it on the road against the Nationals? Well, it feels so Chills up my spine <laughs> thinking about uh, going with you here, but Blackburn, I I only said it like that, you know, because I'm trying to find a little whatever. I'm trying to introduce the yeah. game. What's what's the angle? What's the storyline? What's the betting? That story much Gizmo, line? yeah, right, what yeah. Game, but uh, and and you know, I will say like sometimes when you hear that type of talk, where hey, we're only going to take, it does scare you. Like that is the public side, but. Hard to argue with the, the 1.56 ERA in his last three starts for Blackburn. Uh, Joe Adone, uh, Juan Adone, he uh, had uh, three earned runs in that first start. The Nationals did win that game. 
I'm going to take the BAs here today. Is anybody else going to do it? <laughs> We're getting them. <clears throat> Let's do it. I'm excited to be rooting for the Rays or the A's. <laughs> that makes one of us. <laughs> Uh, All right, let's see here with uh, the game with uh, Fernando. He'll take the A's. Maybe he'll take the first five. Don't worry about the bullpens uh, in a game like this. Jared on the A. Here they come. The Here come the A's. There we go. I see it. Oh, Tom, he's for the Nats. Other than that, there's lots and lots of A's. Let's go A's. Yeah, I do want to mention one thing real quick. I'm going to continue on with the plays here in this game. But uh, I gave out the Guardians and the Rays under just a few moments ago. And if anybody liked that pick or liked it themselves, uh, might want to get on it right now. This total is moving Ooh. lower as we speak across the board. Heavy action coming in right now on the under in Cleveland and Tampa Bay. I'm starting to see those eight and a half uh, disappear a little bit. I don't know if they'll all go away, but uh, it's going to be heavily juiced as well. The under is on the move, Guardians and Rays. The steam came in, let's just say, let me just say it like, uh, like I should. Okay, uh, Ziggy on the Nationals here. And I see Latifa on. She'll take the Nats. We got a challenge with Latifa. <laughs> okay. And uh, thank you for the picks here. Big ball is to stay away from them. What are we doing here? I mean, where should we even be spending? Well, I mean, we, make a, we make a pick on every game. It's just what we do. Yeah, we do. I'm not saying it like that, but. I know what you guys are thinking. But I mean, there's actually, only some games that we're like, eh, probably would not, you know, necessarily bet this one. But we're giving you our best because maybe you guys want to bet that game. It's your favorite play of the day. Yeah. So we'll Once we get to September, I mean, we, you know, we probably end up bumping some of these games from the uh, broadcast. Once we really get hot into the action of the other sports. But uh, I think that's how the show will work. Moving forward, Jared, thank you for those great stats in the chat. All right. Tyrone on the A's here. <laughs> Remost is throwing out that baby. <laughs> yep, that's throwing right. Never going to let that down. They're not going to let you forget it. Throwing out the whole family. Let's take the A's here. Might be the last time all year. I will say that, uh, you know. Well, Blackburn pitches about every what, five to seven days. We'll be all right. Joanna Doan in that game, he was a $2 dog. He did, he did pay off it. I think they were like two, two plus 200 plus 190 in that in that last game that uh, the Nationals won with uh, Joanna Doan. So Nationals have gone under in 11 of their last 15. A's have gone under in four of their last five. Uh, but maybe that's not going to happen today. Thank you to Kay for her pick as well. And Tyrone likes the A's. I think I might have mentioned that. Here we go. Cubs. Right. And uh, Javier Assad going up against the Blue Jays. And Jose Berrios, Berrios, fifty, maybe even a little higher now. It might be going up. Showing the total nine shaded to the over, maybe minus 115 here. Yeah, Blue Jays kind of are on a mini hot streak, right? I think they've won the last five of their seven, playing well offensively, scoring 17 runs here in their last four games. Um, I think, uh, you know, Assad, he's mostly been, I think, out of the bullpen for the most yeah. part. Yeah, but uh, and, but, but short start here, yeah. Okay, yeah, and so I kind of feel like that bullpen's been a little bit shaky here for uh, Chicago. They've struggled a bit. Uh, so I am going to be on the Blue Jays here today. All right. Uh, Mindy says take the Blue Jays in this one. And uh, I'm going to agree. I, You know, it's maybe not the best prior. I don't think it's terrible, though. And uh, I'm going to agree with Mindy here with that streak. Yeah, won seven of their last nine right now. Uh, we know the Cubs still on a hot streak for the most part. But uh, big series here this weekend. Interleague series here. Yeah, there's lots of games that we don't normally get to see. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it with you here, Mindy. We'll mention, uh, man, that Blue Jays under streak has now reached 26 of their last 33 games. Uh, they had a whopping seven runs in that game yesterday with 
with the uh, with the guardian. So, but Barrios also has gone uh, six. Oh, six of his last seven have gone under with a push. So, Cubs. This is probably a bullpen game, but Assad's pretty solid to get get it started off. And uh, I'm going to agree with you here. Take right. Toronto. Toronto. Oh, yeah, it feels okay. Let's see with the chat. I'm, they don't look too hot on this one. Let's see. <laughs> little I'm back showing and Jared forward. with Toronto here, it looks like. Tom Lee says that Nats game, just we don't need a. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Jay's run line here. Tom Poston here today. Bonzi on the Cubs. Uh, CTG says he wants Toronto on the first five. Berrios has a record of 10, 8, and 5. Uh, pretty inconsequential. In, the, in his first five, I should quantify that. Under for bump and run. Here is Takia on the Blue Jays and Frankie on the under. Rem says Cubs can't be picked. Uh, uh, can't be the pick here. I, I think there'll still be some support, but I feel like we are on the square side, the public side, a little bit. Ziggy take his Cubs, or did Ziggy take the Cubs? <laughs> Herky's going Cubs big time today. The wife and kids play of the day is the Cubs. <laughs> All right. All right, Mindy, we want to play with Toronto. There's a pretty stiff favorite here, but uh, we're going to take him today with Barrios. Feel okay. Feel a little bit. Feel okay about this price. Um, I knew it was going to come there. I was just hoping it would it be a high? 10 or 15 cents cheaper. Maybe I'm just giving Toronto's hot. I'm sure that's built. That's part of it. Uh, the Toronto streak right now. Because remember, it was the Cubs making all that. All that noise. It's still one four. Cubs have still won fourteen of their last nineteen games. The Braves and the Mets. Charlie Morton here on the road. We see some vulnerability finally in the Braves a little bit. Uh, not going to make fun of us for taking that run line, but uh, <laughs> it looked like just another team yesterday. Finally, we, uh, you know, hats off to the Braves, but. Uh, at least they looked pretty bad yesterday to a certain extent against the, against the Pirates. Going up against the Mets here, they're going to be a big favorite again. Braves, $1.70, maybe $1.75 now. The total, 9.5 over, minus 115. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go on the Mets on the run line today. Uh, basically, I feel like the, the Braves are struggling here a little bit just because of what the Pirates did to them. So maybe it's just kind of what I've seen uh, here as of late. But this is going to be a great pitching matchup here today. Uh, Morton, 3.82 ERA on the road. McGill, he's sitting at a 2.79 ERA here overall at home. Uh, a big thing here for me is going to be this bullpen, right? Braves bullpen right now. Um, you know, I kind of feel like they've been struggling here a little bit in, in late innings. I, I just think it's kind of a nice spot for the Mets here at home today. So taking them on the run line. All right, Mindy says take the Mets here. Uh, we were the Mets backers. I mean, let's, uh, they've had two wins since the All-Star break. We were on them both. Right. And uh, I'm definitely leaning to you. I'm, I don't even want to look at the chat because no one's going to want the Mets here, and I'm going to want the Mets, I think. I'm not as high on uh, the pitching matchup as you are, but um, these guys are going to have to perform better. And – yeah, they it should they shouldn't be as bad as they've been in this next start. Sure. So like Morton, a seven point four five ERA and zero and four record in his last four starts. McGill, seven point six two in his last three starts, and the Mets are one and six in his last seven starts. So hasn't been good, but uh, I don't know. The price has got my attention, and uh, let's see, minus. Uh, what minus a dollar ten? Come on down. The, the price is right. Minus a dollar ten on the run line here. Well, Latifah's uh, giving us a lot of her uh, dislike for the Braves right now. Skull and crossbones. Uh, you know, doo doo. <laughs> uh, I want to. So uh, 
All right, let me get started on this. But I just want to add, okay, so Billy McDonald, I, I, maybe I did miss the biggest story of the day. I didn't miss it. I mean, I read about it too, and I didn't know, I didn't know if it was going to be right for, not, well, no, I just didn't, I just skipped it. I didn't, but uh, Bill, Billy Mack says, did you hear about Phil Mixon? It's actually, he uh, wagered, a reported $1 billion in his life. What? Uh, Phil Mickelson in a, yeah, I heard a, a billion in his lifetime. <laughs> wow. I mean, he must not have done well. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't hear of him uh, being a multi-billionaire, so that doesn't mean he doubled it. That's for sure. No, but, you know, um, we, right. I mean, uh, we talk about how much money we bet. And, you know, even though we don't think about it necessarily, we all wager like because we're only – even if we just go out there and flip a coin, we're going to lose our nickel every time, right? So we're going to always be betting, you know, uh, 20x or what we actually will win or lose over our lifetime to a certain extent. I mean, just a law of averages, but uh, still, Phil, uh, out of control. They should have put him in the Sports Betting Hall of Fame this weekend. It sounds like, all right, <laughs> Maurice Walker on the over in this one. <laughs> Lovable Plays is here today. And I love little, love them plays little sayings that uh, uh, they come up with. Here's Takia on the under, bump and run. Hey, bump and run, Mets money line. Who would want the Mets against the great Braves in this one? Latifa. <laughs> Ziggy will take the over here. And uh, Tom says the Braves are a fade currently. I don't want to go. I, don't, I mean, I'm, uh, Jeremy will ride with you, Mindy, on the Mets. Dre's got the Mets team total over. Why all of a sudden are we breathing life into the Mets? They were <laughs> Why is that done. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be with Mindy. I'm taking a run and a half here. Tom's on the run line. Okay, Fonzie says what we all know, but it's almost like our sophisticated chat's like, oh, you want to start going really hard against these Mets? No, we'll go the other way. Kay says, the uh, you know, lay the run line and the over. Jared says it's batting practice out there. <laughs> All right. Maurice says this is a, a strong over in this yeah. game. Why, it doesn't I was going to say, yeah, way, why waste our time at football? <laughs> if this game gets to 10, I mean, I feel like I'm already going to be on the under. I'm going to be against, uh, not you, Maurice, specifically, but probably going to find my way to the under on this game. But I'd like That's it to same. get to 10. I don't think it has a chance to get to 10. All right, a few more plays here, everybody. Yeah, let me be lost well, only a hundred million on his billion, which <laughs> makes sense, right? I mean, that technically that would be like a flat loss, right? Uh, Maurice, yep, yeah, and football feeling good. Here we go. All right, that's it for the play. And not, not many plays on this game, so maybe I'll sneak in there with you. I'm going to take the Mets on the run line against the Miami right. Braves in this one. Uh, maybe just rooting for some volatility here. We know the Mets are toast, but it's almost like with some team – we'll see if this is the case for the Mets, but it's almost like once, you, once the teams are really toast – that's when they'll, you know, pick it up and everybody's yeah. like, oh, look at the Mets. And next you're like, oh, the Mets, you know, the end of the season. Remember, they won, you know, 30 of their last 45 games or something. Right. Like, like oh, the Lions last year. Yeah, like yeah. the Lions last year. Almost made it. Tigers and Red Sox. Tariq Skubal going here. Chris Sale, favorite at home. This one's going down. Showing. Red Sox, 149 over 20. Well, good. Uh, I liked it at 160, so I love it at minus 140. I'll be taking Chris Sale today, 3.67 ERA there at home. Uh, I'm glad that he's back here. Uh, I just think he provides a little bit of start to this Boston uh, team here. That's kind of how I've seen that in the past. Whenever he's been out on the mound, uh, they got a little bit of momentum with the bats. Uh, I know a lot of times they have to come from behind, but still get the job done. I'm going to take him here uh, on the money line. Scooball at uh, the away parks, 11.42 ERA. All right, Mindy says uh, take 
the money line you said, Mindy. Now yeah, the, I like the money line. Yes, yeah, for sure. There's be going down here. Thank you. I'd take a little yeah. sip. Yeah. Sip, sip a drink. Sip a drink there. Drink. Thank you for covering for me. <laughs> All right, Mindy, on the Red Sox here with Chris Sale. Uh, it's been, let's see, it's August 11th. Basically, basically two and a half months, almost, right, for uh, Chris Sale. So, uh, you know, Boston can uh, use him here. He was, the sad thing was, he was really, he was finding form there. He's been profitable this year, it's, despite a 4.5. ERA Boston is eight and three in his starts. Uh, plenty of run support, of course, here for Sale when he's been out there. But uh, that's been the problem. And Scooble uh, has a, the numbers are okay, and he's uh, won two of his is two and zero oh in his last three starts with a three ERA. Hmm. Mm. All right, I, I'm I'm going to be on Boston. A dollar forty. What's what's I'm trying to wonder if I'm kind of like what am I missing here? Right. Uh, I know Boston. Yeah, Boston's uh, lost eight of twelve yeah. right now, but they're going up against the Tigers. Maybe the Tigers have actually been a little bit better. They've uh, lost only eleven of nineteen, but uh, that's it. A dollar forty. Dollar forty. I'm going to come in on the Red Sox here. They're still. 33 and 27 at home. Here come the plays from the chat. I'm seeing Latifa, Red Sox, and under. I think uh, lovable plays is on the under here. Going under Red Sox for Takia. Burley on the under. Ziggy says Red Sox. Kev Cook here today. Under. Tigers for bump and run. Omar on the Sox. Bionics on the Sox. Dre's got another team total. I like I like when you guys make the uh, other plays here. Tom Leach, Tigers, run line and under. Berkey, no, uh, please delete that if you can about the uh, domestic. Um, we don't want anything like that here, and I don't want to have to uh, boot you, brother. So if that uh, doesn't uh, disappear, though, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna give you a timeout. I'm afraid. Uh, bump and run. Tigers are the new Braves. <laughs> okay. All right, Perky. Just I'm gonna hurry up, man. Want that off there? You got it. Did delete it. Yeah. Thank MMA you. locker room is here too. Thank you, Perky, for doing that. Appreciate that. Just tone it down just a little bit. Thanks, Mills. Good to see you. Uh, catch up with some of your plays for the uh, action this weekend. I'll have an Emma if I can I'll take Mills' uh, <laughs> steam a little bit here. Uh, Mills, oh, by the way, I just want to mention, if I can, Mills, uh, he will be making a, a big uh, network appearance. Uh, I think it's on the ESPN plus program, but I just want to shout that out. Uh, Mills will be making some uh, handicapping picks. I believe some selections on the nice. uh, mothership. Uh, this weekend. Awesome. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to, you know, he's a humble man, so he doesn't have to maybe update us on it in the chat, but if he wants to, please uh, feel free. Mills, very excited to see you uh, there uh, as well. So thank you. And uh, Frankie on Boston here, Solo says Tigers money line. All right. All right, Mindy, I'll take the Red Sox with you, get the show back on track. Jared. <laughs> Mindy, do you really want uh, – Saratoga is great programming, and it's, you know, it's a network show nowadays. Is it? Oh, yeah. They're, they're on Fox Sports, uh, Saratoga. They've got their own – TV deal. Angels here and Astros. Astros, $1.75 with uh, JV here. Oh, wow. That's a pretty big discount off that overnight price there. I'll update that. Uh, $1.75 for the most part, eight and a half. Sweet. Uh, I'll, I'll take the discount with the, uh, <laughs> Justin Verlander here. 
Uh, so, yeah, I'll take the um, – I'm not going with the Angels today. I'll be taking uh, the Astros here on the run line today. I mean, look, 2.28, Reed Detmers, he struggles, especially on the road. Uh, 5.49 there. Gives up a 406 slugging percentage uh, versus this Astros team. Uh, and I'm excited for Verlander. I think this is his uh, first time uh, back home. Should be a fun one. All right. Uh, just say run line or money line. I'm sorry. I said run line. Okay. Astros run line with Verlander. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, the Angels of you know, you're you're wearing your Angel. You realize you're wearing your Angels hat. You I realize do. you're wearing your Angels hat. I do. I do. All right. Did you put it on and say, "I'm"? Um, or is it just a coincidence? Um, yeah. I I I don't think about it that hard. I mostly <laughs> do like you know what matches, right? Okay, all right. Uh, Detmer's uh, 8.61 ERA in his last five starts. The Angels are 7-13 and 13 in his starts this season. Uh, we'll see Verlander, two earned runs in seven innings pitch. Looked very confident in that first start. He also has a 1.37 ERA in his last four starts. Three and one record, including that uh, 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 loss. <laughs> They, I think they lost that game. So I'll, I'll jump on with Verlander here with you okay. uh, on the run line. All right. We've got ourselves a run line. Astro Angels. Astros have won 16 of their last 24. We're uh, on uh, two run lines already. Are you serious? What was the other? Well, it's the Mets. A different <laughs> well, kind that, of run line. All right. Run line dog. Okay. All right. Uh, chat not too hot on this one, it looks like. No, Perky, you are welcome to stay. Uh, you, you know, I, you, I think you know where the line is drawn, and uh, we like you having you. I just, you know, I just draw. You know, there's some things that uh, I'm not. We're not the pub. The I, I think I'm speaking for the chat, not me. No, nothing personal. All right, uh, Houston first five here says uh, CTG. How about that? Uh, Berlander is just eight, eight and one this season in his first fives. That I think that means lay it. And here, Astros team total over for Tom. Solo's on the under. Astros money line here for K. All right, you got your picks in, everybody. Menino, lay a run line. We're doing it. Here we go. <laughs> okay, next up is the Brewers on the road here with Hot Corbin Burns. And uh, the Brewers are $1.70, the total eight and a half. Oh, again, I feel like the White Sox, man, they keep, keep uh, you know, coming through. Uh, they are giving teams a little bit of a hard time. I'm going to take the White Sox here uh, on the run line today. I feel like the Brewers are still inconsistent. Uh, I think we've had fun with them here over the last uh, couple of weeks or whatever. But, again, I kind of feel like still uh, it's still hard for me to be on the Brewers. I'm not really a Brewers backer. We've been doing it a couple times. But uh, I just am going to go with the uh, Kopek today. I think he holds down uh, this uh, Brewers team here today. All right. Yeah, I don't feel as confident in, in the uh, White Sox Kopek right now. Six ERA in his last seven starts, two and five record. White Sox have lost seven of his last nine starts. White Sox playing some of the best ball, certainly, of the season, having won four of their last five. I'll take the under. I'm going to go under I, at nine. And uh, I don't know if there was many nines available. At nine, I would be on a premium under, I think, in this one. But at eight and a half, I'm just going to give out the under here, I think, on the show. Uh, it's the White Sox that have gone under in 13 of Kopech's last 17 stars. 13. Goodness. 13. Yeah. And the White Sox have also gone under – in nine of their last 11, Burns has gone under in five straight. I'll take the under. It looks a little low to me. Uh, uh, if you know what I mean, sometimes we say it looks a little Yeah, a lot high of unders here today. Oh, really? Okay. A lot of unders with you, yeah, Ramon. Yeah, it's just uh, the the eight and a half is going to be um, – it's worthy of a play. When I, you know, we give out our plays here. Yes, they're not our premium. And uh, we say sometimes, you know, 
uh, what unit size you might play. I think Solo's on the under here. K's on the Astros. Moneyline, Bionic, Astros. The big – oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry if I missed your guys' plays on that, actually. I may have left off all those uh, plays from the Astros game. Did I even – did I blow it, you guys? I'm sorry. No, we, we, I think we were okay with it. I would just be – I, I finished up early is what it was. Okay. All right, Billy uh, Ziggy on the run line here with the Brewers. Billy Max says Burns first five. Burns is uh, in the first five. He's nine, nine, and five this season on the first five money line. Latifa on the under. Frankie says give me the under. Now for Kevin Cooks, why not buy it up to nine? Take it maybe a dollar sure. twenty-five or so. I usually do. I got to be honest. I do too. Uh, I tend the baseball yeah. totals all the time. Uh, yeah, I have a run for you know minus one twenty-five, minus one thirty. It's not too bad. Yeah, well, because uh, Tom Leaf says White Sox first five here. Kopex eight, eight, eleven, and two in his first fives. Gotta go under. Take the under. Okay, you guys. Yeah, Brewers up and down of late. They five and four in their last nine. Team total under. Takia under. Let's go under. Mindy says White Sox run line. All right, Mindy. It's the battle. Okay. It's the show me states. Cardinals and Royals. The blockbuster matchup with Wayne Wright. <laughs> And, uh, and whoever is on the mound for the Royals today. Yeah, right. No, I mean, it's a bullpen game for sure uh, for the Royals with this uh, pitcher coming in, Dylan Coleman, uh, the 26-year-old uh, here. He's, you know, been uh, certainly in there in plenty of situations, I think, this season. He has... Uh, 14 innings pitch. He's been around for a couple of years and has a sub four ERA, but uh, the Royals just don't have anybody that can go, you know, uh, many innings, I think is what it is at this point. So uh, I do know you probably see some Zerpa in there as well. Yes, I saw that. Zerpa might get some uh, of those uh, middle innings there. Granky hit the IL, so now it's uh, Royals here are scrambling. But maybe it's the day that uh, with all these, you know, strange bullpen pitchers that they keep the Cardinals on their toes. I'm going to definitely go on the Royals here today, Ramon. I think they get this one. <laughs> I mean, Wainwright's been terrible. That's all I got to say. Uh, poor Wainy. I mean... <laughs> Maybe this will be the matchup that, uh, you know, he can get it going. No, yeah, no, no. Don't worry. Catching up here on a little bit. Just bear with me. All right. Uh, Royals, Mindy, with me. Yes. I'm with you. Let's take the Royals here. We're doing it. Yay. Go Royals. These, we got to be down on these Cardinals in this, uh, in this series. We got a team uh, we can beat, Ramona. A team we can beat. Oh, yeah, no, it should be all about the Royals today. Uh, that was a good little series, uh, you know, for the Cardinals. But um, I'll take the Royals to get back a little bit here with a bullpen game. Uh, what's the – it's still Cardinals minus $1.15 or so, but uh, it's, I don't know, it's virtually a pick -up. I don't think the chat's probably going to leave this one alone and – uh, say we're talking about the game too much. I don't really have much to say because you said it all with Wainwright. 13 ERA <laughs> in his terrible, last start, going five. <clears throat> Here is Takia on the Royals. Rem most will go over any number. Uh, Ziggy, Royals, Latifah, Roy, it's all Royals. No, it bump and run says, I'll try the cards. And uh, Frankie Diamond on the Royals. And Tom Leach come back on the cards after, you know, they've had a couple of good games. All right. I'll just take the Royals with you here, Mindy. Sounds uh, good to me. Much to, Love it. But we're on them. We're on them for it might be an ugly game, but we're going to have them tonight as a premium consensus. Super ugly game. How about that? Super ugly. The Padres now. 
I'll just turn it over to you and uh, won't uh, whine or complain or anything. But uh, you do have Blake Snell. I'm starting, you know, some of the – there have been some – oh, maybe Snell should win the Cy Young. I don't think you can win the Cy Young if you can't, you know, go deep into the game. So, and, and if you're on a losing team, forget about it. I don't care how incredible he's been over the last, you know, month now. Certainly no but it better statistically in baseball, but uh, that doesn't hold up for me right now. Still going to be a pretty substantial favorite. I would imagine it's only based on the fact that he's been so hot. Um, yeah, the Diamondbacks are giving some back here late, and the Padres are, uh, you know, moving up a little bit. No, they're not. Snell, $1.55, total nine. Ramon, I feel like this is just going to be another ugly game. We're going to have to suffer through the Royals and the Padres here today. Uh, I'm going to go uh, under the total today. I feel like Snell can go ahead and uh, keep these teams down, but I kind of feel like no one's going to be able to hit in this game. So uh, I think it's going to be a under game. All right. Feels like a total under to me for sure. Uh, I don't need to twist my arm I don't think <laughs> Snell's gone under in 11 of his last 17 starts Nelson's gone under in five of his last eight but Arizona's gone under in 11 of their last 13 um, at nine runs it feels pretty solid to me Nelson's been struggling seven and a half ERA in his last three starts uh, Snell, he did give up some runs actually last time out, so I will note that. But still a 2.81 ERA in his last three starts. Padres won two of those games. They really should win this. They should win this game. I mean, I'll probably um, <laughs> yeah, I'll just root emotionally. Maybe I won't bet it at $1.55, but it, it seems a fair well, to me. You're going to be betting on the Diamondbacks. I know it. Well, maybe, yeah, the emotional hedge. <laughs> Maybe I'll right. take Diamondbacks plus two and a half. I don't know, but there you go. Uh, Padres should win this game. I'll take the under with you, Mindy. And uh, let's see here in the chat. See lots and of unders. Really? Lots okay. of unders. Like Ziggy on the under. And solo team total over, though, for the Padres. Here's Bionic. Joe Hill's in the chat. Hello, Joe. Luis on the D-backs. Michael Thompson checking in with the under here. Kev Cook on the under. Bump and run on the under. And uh, Tom Leach, K-Prop, Snell going under. And bump and run. Hey, bump and run. Why not consider the Grand Salami? Hasn't come out yet, but Tim Humphrey sending out his WNBA play in the chat. Check it out, everybody. If uh, Tim can't hang around, thank you for putting play in there for today. All right, Mindy, we're on the under here in this one. Rockies and Dodgers. There's another three dollar favorite here. Now I'm showing it down to two eighty five. The total eight and a half. All right, so who do we got on the mound here today for the Dodgers? Lance Lynn versus, I believe, the money maker Austin Gomber. Jeez, I feel like I got to be on the Rockies today. I thought yesterday the Rockies were just going to get smoked. Uh, did not work out that way. So maybe the Rockies have a little bit of uh, fight in them here today. That's how I'm going to go on this one. Uh, Lance Lynn, 6.8 ERA at home. He's got to do better. Uh, I'm going to take the Rockies on the run line. All right. Mindy says take the Rockies here. Run line plus a run and a half at probably some plus money oh, yeah. there. Uh, yeah. 121 is what I had it. Whoa. Plus, plus, plus. And whenever you see the – look, 285, that's about as – I don't know cheap as it's going to be, I would think. I, I, I would think this one may end up going up higher at game time, like one of those parlay steam type of late. If you're going to take the Rockies, yeah, you're losing value, I think, Mindy, right now with all due respect to your pick. 
Yeah. But it does seem like some of these favorites right at game time, you know, the money starts pouring in on the parlays and it gets jacked up a Especially little bit. Especially, you know, they want to bet like bet on those late games too. That's what happens. Well, pour course. in money when they haven't uh, haven't won. The statistics bore out again. They were asking Lynn to pitch the fastball more, and it seems to be working out. Uh, the Dodgers organization, you wonder how teams keep doing it and why Lance Lynn may have been ineffective, uh, you know, with the uh, Sox. And then you, you see he comes over the Dodgers and he gets specific instruction to change the types of pitches that, or the number of pitches that he's throwing up from his uh, fastball. And he's got a 2.77 ERA in two starts, both of them win. So, it's not necessarily you put on that Dodger uniform. Maybe you're getting some superior coaching type of thing with the Dodgers, even though they're coaching and eh, get some criticism here and there. But it just bears out that maybe Lance Lynn, who has a six ERA this season, all of a sudden is looking very sharp. And his fastball percentage has increased dramatically in those first two starts. So, uh, I can't get with you, Minnie, just because of price. Why is it going so low here? Uh, I would think this would be oh, one of those games where you'd see the Dodgers be, you know, north of $3. So I'm going to take the under in this one uh, with the Dodgers and the Rockies. For some reason, I went over yesterday with the Dodgers. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I just stayed away. The reported didn't, steam. I didn't know anything much. about that pitcher, the pitchers there for Colorado much. Okay. The reported steam did come in on the under here, so I might not even be getting the best of it. Uh, it doesn't feel real comfortable, but I don't, I'm not going to take Colorado, I'm afraid. Gomber's gone under in eight of his last 10. He has a one and a half ERA in his last three starts. Yeah. Money maker so far. And, uh, Rockies six and two in his last eight starts. So Dodgers have now won eight of nine games, no matter how close they are. I'll take the under. Mindy, take the run line here with the Rockies. See what the chat get their plays in here on this one. Showing, um, I think uh, Ziggy likes the under here. Maybe Solo likes the over. Takia's on the Rockies run line. Billy Max says, give me the Rockies' first five. How about that? How about this? How Austin, about that? Austin Gomber's record in the first five, and you know he's a dog every t- you know, practically every, every time, I would assume, a lot of times. 12-8-3, uh, first five money line for Gomber. Rockies run line here. Here's Rockies. They're with you in this one, Mindy. They all are going to be on the Rockies here. Like, well, uh, Verley, Dodgers run line, Bionic Dodgers, bump and run. Here come the Dodgers. Dodgers under for Kev. And you want to say hello to Jeff Roblo here. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for stopping by. All right. Uh, Mindy on the Rockies run line, and I will take the under. Orioles and Mariners. Let's get this rolling here with Gibson and Castillo. I'm showing Castillo here, $1.35. Maybe go moving up. Maybe a little money coming in here on the Mariners. Uh, the total, eight under 25. Yeah, that moved a little bit because I had it at uh, seven and a half here earlier today. Okay. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go on the Mariners. I'm going to take Castillo. Uh, even though he hasn't been great, I think he's been a lot better as of late. I uh, feel like he's getting a little bit of run support. Uh, Mariners still down a little bit, but they don't hold their opponents to much. They only hold their opponents to 3.96 for runs mm. per game here. Uh, Castillo, pretty good at home, 2.79. Gibson, not so great on the road with his 4.5 ERA gives up a 602 slugging percentage versus this Mariners team. And I kind of feel like, uh, you know, those leadoff batters, you got Crawford Rodriguez there for the Mariners that have really been uh, kind of holding this uh, team together. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Mariners minus 140. Okay. I'll do it too. Yeah. It feels like it's going to be about 140 by the time we maybe get it in there. It feels like the move is coming in on the, uh, Mariners a little bit here. I don't think it's uh, steamy or anything, but um, you know Castillo. I mentioned it for last game about his 
home run struggles a little bit. He was giving them up again last game, but um, yeah, it does worry a little bit because the Orioles have been looking so good of late. But I'm going to be on the Mariners here in this one with you, Mindy. Uh, Gibson's been solid uh, of late. He's been the better pitcher out of these two, really, in the short term. We still know that Castillo has a just a 3.28 ERA this season. He's back home here, Seattle. They're the – I mean, look – Two hot teams, man. Two, two of the hottest. This is a great series this weekend. Mariners have won 16 of 19. Orioles have won 22 of their last 30. And they're the, you know, one of the best road teams uh, in the best road team in the American League. Let's just call it that. Uh, but I'm going to try Seattle here. This is going to be high level, high level game, it feels like tonight. <laughs> right. Um, one thing that does concern me is that uh, they don't Castillo. They doesn't win. I mean, or uh, Mariners are five and seven in his last twelve starts, and the Orioles are five and one in Gibson's last six starts. But I like this price. I'm gonna lay it with the Mariners with you. All right, let's do it. Chat says. Taki is on Seattle solo. We'll take the O's. Michael Thompson's on Seattle, and Luis says, give me the O's. This is going to be back and forth, it feels like, because look, yep. up and run says Mariners, but Ziggy says Orioles. Billy Mack on the Orioles. So slightly into the Orioles here for the chat, says my unofficial pull. Excuse me. Bionic on the Mariners, though. That evens up. <laughs> <laughs> Mindy and I make the call, so we're on the Mariners. Yep. Rangers and Giants here with uh, Gray going in this one and Alexander. So, John Gray, this is now a pick -em. This is definitely some type of move on the Giants. Uh, I'm not – let me take a look here at something. Okay, no, I'm not showing necessarily this to be too much steam, but – it certainly looks to be a pretty significant move. I'm showing the game about a pick em now in the total eight and a half. Yeah, it's one of those, like, I kind of want to give my lean here to the Giants, but they are just terrible with the bats. Uh, and I kind of feel like John Gray has struggled lately, but he does have a really nice ERA uh, overall, especially on the road. Uh, so I really don't know kind of which way to go on who's going to uh, get this one, especially when you're talking about, you know, steam maybe coming in on the Giants, uh, you know, the Rangers. I just think on paper that you're just a better team. Uh, ultimately, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the under in this one, Ramon. All right, Mindy says go under here with the Rangers and the Giants. And uh, no, I'm going to agree. I think I'm going to take this under with you at eight and a half. It's going to be eight and a half. Uh, feels like Giants, I want to go under. This is obviously a bullpen game, uh, as many of them are for the Giants. I think it's official. I think they've adopted the uh, bullpen <laughs> game strategy up there. Right. They're showing teams how to get it done. Clyde's a Giants <laughs> fan. He's ready to make that move because Giants have been uh, – well, and I know it's been a good – uh, run, but Giants all of a sudden they are struggling a little bit, having lost four of their last five games. So, Bionics on the Giants, K will be on the under with us. Bill says it's under for Giants games. I like that. They've gone under in nine of their last 12. Rangers have gone under in 10 of their last 12. Feels like an under, but to Kia, over with all due respect. Ziggy <laughs> says Giants. Solo says Rangers, bump and run. Rangers. Boy, it's close. I think it might be feeling kind of close for me right now on that, especially with the line move. Everything's close. I don't know if I, I, know if I could – well, I, I know, but I'm just not sure I can even find a side at this point. <laughs> right. Right. And uh, Tom's on the under. So I'm on the under. Mindy's on the under. Take him under. Eight and a half. Michael Tom's under. under. Dre, Texas and under. Now, Gray's gone over in three of his last four starts, and he does have a 6.41 ERA in his last five starts. But for the season, sub four ERA, and now 
We're in San Francisco. Don't forget. Frankie Diamond. Under. Under. Or as they say in France, Sunday. In France, yeah. 